we're preparing a baked dessert here, a chocolate fondant with rum and eggnog. We've got our ingredients arranged here. Two egg yolks and two whole eggs. Sugar, butter, chocolate, and some flour that we're going to sift into the mixture on the end. We just need to repeat that. That is just two yolks and two whole eggs. That's correct. Yep, so please make sure that's the case. So first of all, we've got a bain-marie ready here. We're going to put our butter and our chocolate onto melt. Just take note that I've cut the butter quite finely, so it starts to melt and helps prevent burning of the chocolate. So really concentrate on your bain-marie being on a very low heat. You don't want it cooking to too high a heat. As that's melting, we're just going to prepare our just going to prepare our molds. We've given you a cup here because you may not have these uh, Darrell molds to bake in at home. So this is what you might want to bake in at home. Any kind of cup or mold or ramekin or cappuccino cup will do the job. You may not be able to turn them out though as a plate of dessert if you use a cappuccino cup. So if you're not having steel molds like this. Do it in the cappuccino cup or a normal ramekin and just serve it in the actual cup or ramekin rather than trying to turn it out. So we've just got some softened butter. Make sure your hands are clean or alternatively you could use a pastry brush as well. Just to grease the insides of the moulds. We're probably not going to turn this cup out but I'm just demonstrating how to out the liner. So I have some cocoa here. I'm just going to put a reasonably large spoon in there. I'm just going to line the moulds by gently tipping all this cocoa out into the next mould. Remove any excess. And likewise, we'll do the same into the next one. So our molds are lined. We can just leave those until we're ready to until we're ready to bake. So we've had our chocolate and butter melting on the bain marie for a couple of minutes over a low heat. Just as that's finishing the melting process, there I'm going to start adding my yolks and sugar together. I will recap once again: two egg yolks and two whole eggs. Our sugar can go onto here. Just securing the base there. butter and chocolate. Now we've got our flour here. We're going to sit onto our chocolate and butter mixture. to incorporate this flour. Don't want to overwork this, 
just lightly incorporate the flour to, to ensure a nice and smooth batter. So it's important now, Rohan, that we make sure our oven is preheated, isn't it? Very important to remember, preheated oven at 160 degrees, ready for baking the fondants. You don't want to be putting the fondants in when the oven is in that temperature because they just won't have that soft gooey centre which you're looking for. So I'm just incorporating that, not over mixing it, making sure there's no lumps of flour in there. They're ready to be placed into their moulds. Now we're going to fill our moulds. So it's important now they're all filled fairly evenly so they all bake the same and if you don't fill them evenly you'll get some that are overcooked, some that are undercooked and some should come out perfect hopefully. And to be honest every oven here is different so cooking time will, that it says in your recipe book, you may need sort of tweaking depending on how strong your oven is at home, how if it's fan assisted or not, it's, it's a tricky one to get exactly right. Best thing to do is usually use, we'll show you later, but use a knife just to identify how soft it is in the centre of the, the fondant. So we've got our three fondants, all about three quarters of the way up or four fifths of the way up the mould. Now we're going to put them straight in, close the oven door, and leave them for at least 10 minutes before we check them. We're preparing the rum eggnog to go with our chocolate fondant. So just as we did for our Bavarian cream recipe, we're heating our milk, a little bit of cream and vanilla in a pot here, our sugar and our rum for this recipe. So again, I'm only mixing those together. This is my cream ready to come off. A little bit of milk and cream at a time. Back over to Bay Marie. Out, exactly the same as you did with your custard. You're going to try and be careful this and bring it to 82 degrees, cook out the eggs, making sure no heat goes up the side of the pot and the nice gentle simmer on the water so it doesn't overheat the custard. This will be the best part of 8 to 10 minutes doing this. Exactly the same as the start of your Bavarian cream and then you're going to strain it and cool it and serve it with your chocolate fondant. Okay, so we've got our rum eggnog here. It's coated in the back of the spoon, starting to thicken. We can take that over now, place it through a shinwar onto a bowl of ice. So just remembering this is different from your barbawa. Your barbawa will have had gelatine in it. This has only got egg yolks to, as a thickener, so it's not going to set and have ribbons like your barbawa but an eggnog traditionally is served ice cold, so you want to cool this down over the ice, or alternatively, you can put it in the fridge and then do this well in advance of cooking your fondants. So we've had our fondants in for about 14 minutes. Every oven's going to be different, but you'll see that they've got a nice crust formed around the outside, but it's still quite soft and a uh, little bit liquidy in the center. So we're just going to take that out. So the mold's going to be a little bit hot, so. You can always run your knife around it if you're unsure at home. If you think it's going to stick to your darrow mold, just, just run your knife around the outside. The plate. So 
So we have the, the cold eggnog here. You could pour some into a jug so the customer can put the amount of sauce on that they like. You can put some around the pudding as well on the plate. Quite a generous amount of icing sugar. We have our chocolate fun with rum eggnog. So this should be nice and soft in the middle and really gooey. We'll show you that in a second once it's rested. So we're just going to show you the chocolate fondant so you can see the, the texture on the inside. Should be a little bit self-sourcing and it comes out as a nice crust on the outside and the sauce coming out from the middle.